Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all well um, during these crazy times at the moment. Um, I've come on here to talk about something really, really important, which is We Her Knitters Mohair Yarn. Um, I'm using it at the moment to make um, my second Aosta slipover. I'm using the shade beige and I'm using it in conjunction with uh, the Merry Will, it, also in the shade beige. Um, this is the yarn. Um, I have some feelings about it. I'm not sure if I like it or not just yet. Um, I'm holding it here in comparison kind of with my other mohairs and you know it's a nice lace weight yarn and I do like how it's knitting up and working with the Merry Wool um, which is one of my favourite yarns um, as you'll know if you've been following my Instagram for a while. Um, but I've got a few of my projects here that use mohair in different ways. So I've got my Aosta sweater mohair edition, my holiday slipover and my zipper sweater, as well as the Aosta slipover. Um, and I kind of want to talk you through what I'm thinking about them all. So if we start with the holiday slipover by Petite Knit, one of my favourite projects, I wear it all the time. It was super fun and quick to knit. Um, I'm, I used uh, Drops Mohair, which is one of my favourite budget options, with two strands of the Merry World in the space shade Spotted Mauve, I think it's called. Um, and you can kind of see that it has a sheen to it and a kind of glossiness that comes from the silk content I think in the mohair. It's a 75-25% mohair silk blend and um, you can see there where Jasmine, my cat, has <laughs> tried to eat it because it fell on the floor just before I started filming. Um, but it, it's a lovely yarn, it's like £3.50 a skein and I think it's really good quality. You can see it's got a nice luster and that matters, I'll come back to that. Um, and then next up, this is my Aosta sweater mohair edition. Um, I'm really pleased with how this has worked up. I've got one more sleeve to go and then it's done. Um, some extra yarn came to finish it today. Um, so I hope to get that finished in the next week or so and start the test very soon. Um, but it's a knitting for Olive. Mohair is my absolute favorite. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. Um, I think the price is really reasonable for the quality. And again, it's 75%, 25% mohair silk, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is it in the shade Dusty Petroleum Blue, which I used for my waffle sweater by Knitting for Olive as well. And then the colour I'm using for the um, Aosta sweater is Dusty Rose. Um, but they're both lovely. I mean, this has been swatched a few times and frogged, so it's not looking its best. But you can see when it's knitted up, it's gorgeous. This is three strands of the mohair on 4mm and 5.5mm and needles. Um, but it's knitted up really nicely, it's got a lot of volume and again that sheen that I think is really important for mohair. Um, if we look at some others in the range, this one is from Rico um, and I got it at half price from Hobbycraft near me because it was really tangled with another skein so I thought yeah why not, it's kind of an impulsive purchase but um, I'm not quite sure what the composition is but it was, I want to say it retails for about £7, um, I think again it's about a 25 75 blend of mohair and silk sorry other way around um this color's kind of crazy so i don't quite know what to do with it but um i am looking forward to finding a use um but it's much more in line with these two um but you can see there it has got that same sheen and luster um and then we have Vulcalana tilia which is the most recent mohair that i've tried i'm using it to make the zipper sweater by petite knit um, with the Ficolana um, Peruvian Highland Wool. I got these from Knit, um, who's at Knitting Is My Rehab here on Instagram. And um, so far I'm loving them. Again, it has that beautiful like pearlescence um, and I cannot tell you how amazing this fabric feels. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna be making so much with this yarn combination, I think in months and years to come. I really think it's great. Um, but if we compare how that looks with the Aosta Slipover, um, admittedly it's quite a different you know, yarn combination and knit but can you see how matte it looks and slightly fluffy it's not that I don't like the finish it's that it's very different to normal mohair and like, if we hold the whack mohair next to the other mohairs in my collection because I'm a hoarder and I cannot stop buying yarn um, you can see how different they are do you see how matte it looks it's a 54% alpaca blend I don't want to say 24% mohair, 22% silk. So it's still got quite a high silk content. But to me, it's much more of like a brushed alpaca style yarn, even though it is still lace weight um, and it has that nice halo that you expect from mohair. 
but it, it behaves more like this yarn which is from Hobbycraft and it's a 90% acrylic 10% wool I think blend it was really cheap I think they've discontinued it but it's, it's quite a nice yarn but it's it's closer to that than any of the actual silk mohair blends I mean even compared to Wee Knitters the bling bling yarn which I'm a big fan of um, I really really like using this got it there in the shades grey and salmon um, I don't know it's just weird to me it's very strange these behave more like mohairs than the mohair used in combination with another yarn it's it's really odd um i'd say you can't in, they're not interchangeable um which i think is fine like i can imagine the we are knitters two of ones sweater for instance um from her latest collection with them being really nice and working up nicely but you can't achieve what you can achieve with regular mohair using we are knitters touch me mohair and just move that out of the way um do you see the difference it's not just that the stitch is different, if I can get the light to adjust properly. This is silkier and you just don't get that from the Touch Me Mohair. I don't know, have you tried it? Have you found that it's a strange yarn too? Am I being really picky? Because I feel like I have tried a lot of different mohairs at this point and I do kind of like to think that I know what I'm talking about. But I don't know, it's just weird. Um, I think I like using it. I can't see myself rushing to use it again, especially for £19. I mean, the yardage is great, but £19 is a lot. Um, I don't know if it would be better just by itself. Um, I've also heard that it can affect your tension a bit. I don't know. Let me know what you think, and thanks for listening.